Welcome to American Barbecuers. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to trim a whole prime rib. I'm gonna show you how to cut a Delmonico or a ribeye out of a whole prime rib. This is our prime rib. It's about a 17 pound uh, choice grade. Uh, the first thing that we need to do, there's gonna be a line of fat up here going to need to find that line of fat because um, this fat does not melt or when you heat it up so you can usually find it and it starts to peel like so so you're going to peel it towards you and you're going to peel it down until you get to what they call the tail and i'll show you what that is here in just a second while we got it like this look for anything or here's a little bit of bone just kind of give that a little trim off. If anything doesn't look too appealing, like right here, just give that a little trim. Set that stuff aside. You're gonna to wanna to leave some of this fat, but not all of it. Okay. Like so here. That looks okay right there. Now, turn it. Okay, you see how this has come right here? You've got this triangle piece of fat like that. Um, I like to trim a good portion of that off. So I'm gonna start by trimming like so. Okay. And if you actually notice on this piece, our fat actually goes from really thick to really thin. If you're wanting a Delmonico style cut of the ribeye for a steak, you're going to want to leave a little piece of the tail like this down here. You don't want this big tail right here. If you're doing um, an actual prime rib, if you're going to roast this whole thing or roast part of it, you're going to want to leave a little bit of this tail. Um, some places will leave this entire piece of fat. Uh, when they do that, they're kind of getting on you because if they call it a 12 ounce cut or prime rib, you're gonna have a couple ounces of that of pure fat, okay? So if you're looking for Delmonico cut, I'm gonna trim and try to get it to look like this side of the tail here. So we're taking that fat off. Trim a little bit more of this right here. Like so. Kinda of come underneath to give it a little bit of a triangular look. Like that right there. Okay, so we got a good little piece of tail, but not a whole lot. If you want to take it even further, you can. Like that. And that's a little high. So just turn it towards me. And trim that fat off up at the top. Right there. Now, if you're not really looking for the Delmonico cut. If you're looking more for just a standard ribeye cut, what you're gonna do, this fat tail, you're gonna take it completely off, okay? Your standard ribeye does not have this fat tail on it. So you're just gonna grab one in and start to kind of start pulling, then take your knife and just take this entire tail off of your ribeye. Um, I personally, I do like a little bit of it. Um, nothing better than just a little bit of charred fat on your steak. And there is a small amount of meat in this section. Um, not much, and depending on what part uh, or area that you got a steak cut off of, there may not be any at all, but there usually is a little bit. Get the rest of that piece off right there. Okay, from here, if you're wanting to cook this as a whole prime rib, you season her up and you cook it. Um, if you are wanting to cook, uh, cut steaks out of it, uh, we're going to cut steaks. I'm just going to get this cutting board cleaned up real quick. We'll be right back. 
Okay, I got us cleaned up here. And yeah, I did cut myself, which it happens even to the best of us. Now from here, depending on how big you want your stakes, I try to go right around 14 to 16 ounces. And using this knife right here, at this fat part, we're about an inch and a quarter, inch and a third. So what I usually do is on the ends, I'm going to try to guesstimate right around close to a two pound cut. Um, that way I give myself a miniature prime rib or a thick cut ribeye. Um, this cut, I usually cook the style of a prime rib. Um, just for me and my wife because the kids don't eat a whole lot. Um, so I'm going to get a cut. I'm going to just check the weight on this one. And uh, we're on ounces here. Come on. We're on pounds now. We're at one and a half pounds. So that's okay right there. Got a nice small little prime rib cut. Um, then from here, I'm going to lay my knife down and put it right on the edge, turn it up, and that's going to give me, should be a nice, nice cut of steak right here. Okay. And from here, I'm going to weigh it again. And we're right at 15 ounces. Now remember, every prime rib is going to be different. Okay. The density of the meat and the overall physical size. So if you're looking for a, a right around a 16 ounce cut, sometimes it's gonna to have to be a little thicker in this case, or sometimes it's actually gonna need to be thinner if your prime rib is actually a lot bigger around of a roll, okay? But if you look right here, we've got a nice Delmonico cut. You can see this part is the tail. If you're going ribeye cut, you would have removed from here over before you even cut your steak, okay? And you can see there is some meat right here but as you get closer to this middle you're going to have less meat it's going to be mainly more fat then you'll end up with some meat over here okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to cut this entire thing until i get to this end into more steaks then this last piece is going to be whether it's going to be a small steak a perfect size steak or it'll end up being another prime rib cut um Again, I do one on the one side to get a nice even edge here and cut this way. And sometimes this one will turn into a steak on this end. Sometimes it doesn't. Um, after all that, I typically vacuum seal them with a uh, date, uh, the kind of meat that it is, and how many ounces or pounds that it is. And they're going to go in my freezer for a future date. Uh, but doing something like this, you can get a whole prime rib i got this thing uh whole prime rib 17 pounds at ten dollars a pound um some sam's clubs and costco's every once in a while will actually throw them on sale closer to six dollars a pound maybe five dollars a pound um, if you can buy one then cut your own steaks by the time you account for what you trimmed off you're not looking at maybe another dollar a pound that you paid for it with what was thrown in the garbage now you've got some cheap ribeye steaks that you can cook. Instead of paying uh, $15, $16 a pound for that steak, now you're closer to $7 a pound if you got a $5 a pound ribeye or prime rib, or a $12 a pound if you bought it at 11 okay? But that is how you trim and cut a prime rib.